Hello guys, this is Navin Reddy. So today we'll talk about uh, RIP configuration using Cisco Packet Tracer. So for this, let me design our network. We'll take one machine here and second machine. Let's place this here. Now to connect these two machines, again, this these two machines belongs to two different network. So this machine belongs to a network called as 192.168.1.0. And this machine belongs to a network 192.168.2.0. So what I need is I need to connect these two machines. So let me take a switch here so that I can in future I can connect multiple machines. So let me take a switch here and I will take one more switch at this point. Now to connect this I need two routers. So let me take a generic router here and this generic router yeah it's this generic router here so what i have is i have this network as 1.0 this network as 2.0 so let me just mention this oh. so this network is 192.168.1.0 and this network 192.168.2.0 now to connect this we need a wire so from this machine to this machine and from from this machine to this machine okay and to connect now from this machine to this switch and here we, here we go now i need to connect these two routers also right so we have to connect these two routers now what i need is i need to configure this network for this route for this router for this network and this router for this network right now whenever you configure this you have to configure your machines first right again we are not going for any dynamic ip we will be using some static ip only so in desktop go to ip configuration and here the machine IP will be 192.168.1.2 this is your mask and gateway is 192.168.1.1 now close this machine you can do the same configuration for this machine desktop IP configuration and 182.168.1 oh sorry not 1.1 it's not 2.2 and gateway is 192 192.168.1 not it's 2.1 okay now now to we have to configure this point and this point so go to this router configuration and in fast ethernet you have to provide a default gateway right so it's 182.168.1.1 and this is your mask and on in this router you have to do the same thing configuration fast ethernet your gateway is 182.168.2.1 and you have to say on now the routers are configured right again we have to configure this link also now this is one network this is second network and between two routers i have one more network and this network let me define it as uh, 10.0.0.0 this is my network here okay so this point will give as 10.10.0.2 .10 this is 10.10.0.3 .10 so go to this router and with your serial port because see again you have when you configure uh, come to this wire you can see this is your uh, clock and we don't have a clock here so this is your dce and this is your dte so go to this router when you set your serial 2 slash 0 you have to concentrate we have a clock there right so uh, let me set a clock as 64,000 so you can take any number so let me give an IP as 10.10.0.2 uh, .10 and this is your mask and on now this port is on now you have to on this port so come here and f uh, not watch the serial, serial port again in this side we don't have a clock so we have to set it as not set uh, and 10.10.0.3 .10 .10 at that side we have 2 this side we have 3 and then you have to say on now your routers are totally configured right now what we need is when i when i pick a packet from this router 
so from this machine to router it's working right it's because this router knows about this machine or we can say this machine knows about this router what if if I take my packet from this machine to this machine it gives me failed it's because this machine knows about this router or this router knows about this router but this router don't know anything about this machine or this network so we have to teach we have to teach this router how to get to that machine and for this we can either use static routing or we can use rip again for static i have uh, i have already uh, have a video on youtube on my channel so if you want to go for static now this time we are going for RIP okay so RIP is routing information protocol in which you just have to mention you just have to mention the number of network this router knows so this router knows about this network and this network so you just have to type here the network ID so it's 192.168.1.0 again to do this uh, we have uh, we have uh, commands the commands are router RIP again you can do it using configuration mode or gcli mode so with configuration mode it's router rip and in that we have to mention the network address so add and we need one more we we, we know one more network is 10.0.0.0 and then we have to say add okay now this is this router is we have mentioned the rip protocol here again next thing is so you have to go to configuration and in setting you just have to save this in nvram okay so nvram is non volatile ram in which you can save your configuration and you have to say close now you have to do, do the same thing for this router so you can use a uh, config or you can use cli so this time we will we'll we'll use cli you have to come to the global configuration mode this is your configuration mode in this the command is router rip and now you have to mention the network address so this router knows about 192.168.2.0 and network it knows about two networks so 10.0.0.0 and that's it and to save go to configuration settings and save okay and this is also configured or this is also we, ha we have done the protocol for this router also now to check if it is working or not pick a packet from this machine to this machine if it comes failed you have to wait for 10 seconds again switch will take some time router will take some time again we are working with rip which updates its table after every 25 seconds okay so till then we can check for this router this should be connected because obviously we are directly connecting them what our focus is my focus is to drop a packet from this machine to this machine and it's working right again you can check the same thing using uh, simulation so using simulation what we need to do is pick a packet from this uh, this machine to this machine and you can run capture forward so capture forward capture forward and capture forward capture forward and done Right, so this is how you have to work with your RIP and I hope you uh, you learn something from it now if you have any doubts please comment uh, so that I can solve your doubts and do subscribe for further videos